In these problems, we're looking at nonlinear functions again and trying to recognize the shapes of them. This first question says the graph of a square root function, and remember that's the y equals the square root of x, could resemble which of the following functions? And you should be able to tell that this guy right here is an absolute value. This one, oops, is just a linear function. This looks like um, maybe a, a cubic function that's been flipped around or something. And the square root is this one. Now, if you're not sure, I would recommend you find a graphing program on the internet and just type in y equals the square root of x. You'll see you get a shape like that. All right, let's check this next one. It says, which graph most closely resembles the equation e of x equals x plus 5? Now, don't let the e of x part confuse you. That's the same as f of x. It's just another name for a function. And you could substitute y in there if that makes you feel more comfortable. You could say y equals x plus 5. And that, you should recognize, is just a straight line. So this is a linear function. And the only one that would fit with that would be c. The other ones here, well, we've got a square root, we've got a quadratic, that's the y equals x squared, and we've got an absolute value function as well. All right, last one. It says, which function has a graph that resembles the shape below? And this is um, a shape that uh, might confuse you at first because you're probably used to seeing it pointing in the other direction. This is a U shape, uh, and that is some kind of quadratic, right, where you have an x squared. But this is upside down. So how does that happen? Well, that happens when there is a negative sign in front of the x squared. So our choices here, uh, we can eliminate b because that's an absolute value function. It's not pointy to and pointy antennas like that, so it's not b. d, you should recognize, is just a line. That's a linear function. So our choices are between a and c. They're both quadratics because they both have the x squared in them. But this one, c, has the negative sign in front of the x squared, which is going to flip that u upside down. So correct answer, c. And that's a little more work with recognizing nonlinear functions.